So let's try to turn a cow into a monster, shall we? I don't think it's gonna be too hard with our new liquid. And it looks like we're getting there. Whoa. That's awesome. Yep, yep, yep. We did it. <laughs> that means we can now do experiments on different animals. I wonder who we can turn into next. Hmm. Maybe a sheep? Look, don't you think it could be dangerous? I don't think the other cows are gonna make friends with it. So we need to keep a close eye on it. And if anything happens, be ready to run. Yay! JJ, there's something wrong with the cow. Hmm. So let's just run away from it. Ah! I don't want it to bite me and turn me into a monster. Oh, Why no! don't we destroy it? Okay, let's just hide from it. Uh -huh. I don't think it's smart enough to start looking for us behind trees. And don't you think something's going on with it again? <gasps> Whoa! JJ, the cow got even bigger. This is something we certainly couldn't have expected. Uh. Our fluid seems to be working very strangely, so I don't know if we should do any more experiments. Hmm. For now, I don't want to stop. Oh. After all, we've only just begun our experiments. See, JJ, and here are the first problems. Oh, no! This cow became so aggressive that it destroyed the farm. We need to stop the cow as soon as possible <sighs> because she's only going to bring more destruction. I thought we were going to have a harmless experiment today. Uh -huh. Well, I've got a bow, so I'll take care of her in no time. Wow. And we need to figure out a way to keep the mutants from escaping. Yay! Something tells me you're going to be fighting with a bow for a long time. So take my shotgun. Whoa. And I was thinking maybe we should put up an electric fence. Mm -hmm. That way the mutants won't run away. That's a really great idea. Yeah. But first, we have to deal with this cow. Oh. I can't believe she has so much health. Usually you just have to hit it a few times, uh -huh. but this one doesn't care. No way! I think you can win soon. Yes. After all, you fired so many bullets. <sighs> I finally got it. Yep, I have yep, to yep. admit, it was difficult. Now we have to put the fire out as fast as we can, mm. because the whole farm could burn down because of us. Listen. Why don't we take the hogs from this farm? Huh? I think we could definitely get a couple of them. And then we can do experiments on them too. Oh. I think the results would be different. Good afternoon. Please forgive the incident with this cow. Oops. It won't happen again. And can I have a couple of pigs? Take it. Whoa! I have so many I don't know where to put them anyway. <laughs> and thanks for putting my building out anyway. Thank you so much for not being mad at us. Mm -hmm. Now let's go. Let's now dip the pig in our liquid. I'm very interested to see what happens. I don't think the pig will turn as green as the cow. Huh? And I was right. Whoa. Look at this. It's like the pigs have become half zombie. Really? It's not that unusual, though. They do exist in our world after all. <gasps> but it's cool that we could do it ourselves. Hmm. And it looks like she's not as mean as a cow, mm -hmm. which means we can make more mutant pigs. Let's catch them all and send them into our liquid. <laughs> we'll have an army of mutant pigs. <laughs> Great, I like this one already. Uh -huh. But we can think about who to turn next, because pigs are not gonna be enough for me. Whoa. I wanna try everything I can think of. Mm. But let's turn the ones we have for now, mm -hmm. and then we'll look for other options. And by the way, we need a fence. <laughs> well, that's it. Now we have a real army. And don't you think we could attack some village? I don't think anyone could handle a pig like that. Uh -huh. Then let's run quickly. I want to see it. All right, let's go, our army. <laughs> Destroy all who stand in your way. It's so cool we don't have to fight at all. Mm -hmm. Because the pig army will do it for us. But what do we do next? Hmm... I think we can steal all the jewelry in this village. Oh. Think about it. There's gonna be so many emeralds. Yeah. So now, we're gonna take care of everyone and go looting. I really like your plan. So we should help our pigs get through this quickly. Huh. I hope they don't get hurt in the battle. Oh, really? All right, we've got all the villagers sorted out. Ooh. So now we can steal their houses. I don't think there's anyone here who'd mind that. <laughs> and then we can get back to our lab. We could really use the emeralds. Huh? We can buy a lot more animals with them after all, <laughs> which means we can do more experiments. It's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> You're absolutely right. So we should take as many emeralds as we can carry. <laughs> Although I don't think they're going anywhere. Huh? So we can come back if we need to. Yeah. I don't think we're going to need that many resources, of course. Hmm. But yeah, you're right. 
Mikey, looks like we got a problem. <gasps> Our lab's been cordoned off by scientists, no. and they have guns. What do we do now? Mm. We can't fight them because we don't even have guns. Let's become weapons ourselves then. Whoa. Let's go jump in that liquid. I'm sure we can become very strong that way. Whoa. And then the scientists won't be able to do ah. anything to us, but it will hurt. <laughs> ah. It turns out I've become a mutant. Whoa. And I take it you're Mikey too. Uh -huh. So let's destroy all those scientists now. Attack them all at once. Because with our new ah. powers, you're no match for us. JJ, and they are well prepared. Now. Even with my new powers, they can fight back against me. Oh. So we have to keep as close to each other as possible. That way they won't stand a chance. Uh, yeah. Let me deal with one first, mm -hmm. and then I'll come straight to your rescue. It's a good thing I can teleport. <laughs> I can be anywhere pretty fast, and it's time we fought them harder. Oh. I didn't know you could do area damage. <laughs> it's very crawling in our situation because you can hit a bunch of scientists at once. You know, I like your mutation even better. Looks like that's the end of our adversaries. Uh -huh. We took him down faster than I thought, so now we can continue our experiments. Yeah. But it would be nice to be the same. Hmm. Honestly, I don't know how we can stop being mutants. Oh no. It's not like we've come up with an antidote. It's time to put up the fence. After all, I don't want strangers entering our territory anymore. Uh -huh. And mutants can escape. Yeah. So the fence will be a very important building. It's also good that it will be energized. Hmm? It'll give us an extra layer of security. Huh. All that's left is to build it. That's it. Now the fence is definitely ready, uh -huh. which means our lab is now safe. So there's nothing to stop us from leaving it for a while. Hmm? After all, we still have work to do. Hmm? Right. We still have to find as many animals as possible Down. because experiments aren't going to run themselves. And I think I even know the perfect place where we can get animals. Whoa, let's go. Great, there's a sheep cart stuck on the bridge. Mm. So while no one's looking, we'll steal them. Yeah. Even if they do see us, they can't do anything about it because we're stronger than humans right now. <laughs> yes. I can't wait to see what they can turn into. Maybe they'll be even stronger than a cow. Hmm. It's too early to think. We should at least sneak them out of here. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid, sheep. You're in safe hands now. <laughs> JJ and Mikey will make the best versions of you. So just follow us. Uh -huh. I can't believe we had such an easy time finding what we needed. Way to go, Mikey. Well, we were finally able to get them to our lab. It was easier with the pigs, but now we can start the experiment. Yep, and yep, I suggest yep. we only dip one sheep first. Let's see what happens. Hmm? All right, let's do this. Still, if something goes wrong, huh? it'll be easier to deal with one sheep than a whole army of mutants. <laughs> but still, be careful. It's gonna be okay. I mean, we've done this more than once. Wow. And look, it won't be long before we see a new mutant. What the? Look, it looks like we did it. And she's not aggressive like a cow. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely a success. The sheep looks so unusual. <laughs> Let's do the rest of them. And then we'll have a bigger army. I think the wool from these sheep could make a very interesting armor. <gasps> Maybe it will have a special property. Either way, I'll have to check it out. Yeah. As long as it's not dangerous. Don't worry, it'll be fine. Huh. I think it'll be just regular armor, just a different color. But will we be able to wear it? Yes! After all, we're a lot bigger than we used to be. Everything is great. Oh. You can keep making armor. That armor is pretty cool, though, so I'm going to try to sell it. Oh. Money's never too tight, and we have plenty of sheep, so we can start making armor out of their wool. <laughs> yes! I certainly wouldn't have gotten that idea. Huh. Also, see... Armor has a buff that takes away damage from falling. Mm -hmm. I think that would make the armor worth a lot of money. Of course you are. The most important thing is to find a good place where I can sell this armor. Mm -hmm. And I think I know just the place to go. But it's not that close, so go ahead. Here we are at the village. But if we just stand around selling armor, we're not likely to attract many customers. Mm -hmm. So we need to build a good counter. Huh. You're right. Good thing I brought plenty of blocks with me. Whoa. We can use them to build a whole store here. Yeah. Then everyone will only come to us for armor. Then we'll have a lot of money. Yep, yep, yep. That's the kind of thing I like. And by the way, huh? we have to attract villagers here. So I say we put a booth with our armor right outside the store. Yes. And once they see it, they'll want to buy it. I'm sure of it. Hmm. We'll see. 
That's it. We're ready to open. Uh -huh. So now all we have to do is wait for the first customer. Oh. And I think it's on its way, so we need to sell him a whole set of armor. <laughs> Good afternoon. We sell the best armor in the world, <laughs> and it is very cheap. So, do you want to buy it yet? Yes, please give me the whole set. Whoa! I think I'll be the strongest in the village with this armor. Thank you so much for your purchase. Mm -hmm. I suggest you put this armor on as soon as possible. Yeah. Because with it on, you'll be safe from any threat. And can you tell the others where you bought it? Of course I'll tell everyone. Yeah. Have a nice day. That's so cool. Yes. JJ, we just sold our first set of armor. Phew! That's great. Look how big the line is. Whoa. And the problem is, we've already sold everything we have. Oh. So we need to pack up the emeralds and go. I guess we'll be back here someday. Yeah. Of course we will. They brought us so much money. Mm -hmm. We'll have to create something newer, though. Now, that's a very good idea. Yep, yep, I'll yep. think about it. Hey, why don't we try mutating a chicken? <gasps> I think it might be something really interesting. Oh? So I'll take a couple of them and dip them in our liquid. Hmm. All right, let's give it a shot. Huh. We don't have any other animals to experiment on anyway. Oh. So chickens are the best. What if it gets really big? <laughs> I don't know, but we'll find out soon enough. Uh -huh. And it's a good thing we put up a fence. We don't have any more problems with our lab. Mm -hmm. I hope it stays that way. Of course it's going to be like that. Now let's get the chicken on the tape, mm -hmm. and then it'll turn into a mutant. I feel like at this rate, we can take over anything we want. <laughs> After all, we have such an army. Whoa! You're right, though. The important thing is that the chicken experience is a success. Mm. Because I remember what it was like the first time we tried it. We almost lost to a mutant cow. Whoa. But the chicken's small, so it's okay. Look how funny she is now. <laughs> For some reason, she's all green. Except there's nothing unusual about her. Hmm. Did the experience fail after all? The important thing is not to let it go anywhere. No way. So I'm going to throw more seeds in here. I think it'll definitely come back and eat it all. And then we can study its properties. So far, nothing is clear. Whoa! Whoa. Wow! Look how big this chicken's got. Mm -hmm. Now that's definitely the best mutant ever. But how are we supposed to control such a large creature? Hmm. I don't have any ideas yet. Whoa! Looks like it's flying away. Good thing we still have plenty of chickens left, uh -huh. so we can repeat the experience. What the? Nobody move. Ow. We finally found you. Now you will be our prey. Aww. And I advise you not to resist because we outnumber you. You made a big mistake. Hmm. I can't believe they finally got us. There were a lot of them, though. Mm -hmm. But they shouldn't have locked us in a room like that. Huh? There's literally everything you need to get out of it. And very soon, we'll show them what happens when they think we're ordinary people. Yeah. We sure know how to survive after all. And it starts with a workbench. Huh? Because with it, you can make a lot more things. Hmm. I think I understand what you're trying to do. Huh? Still, in a room like this, the best thing to do would be to make an axe. Yes. Because you can use it to remove blocks of wood very quickly. <laughs> Absolutely right. And I think there must be a passage to the other room somewhere around here. There it is. We're not going to find anything but wood in here. And that's not enough for a successful escape. Now! How very lucky we are. <laughs> I didn't think we'd find sand and powder here, which means we can make dynamite. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of dynamite that's going to get us out of here. And then we can deal with our enemies. Hey! But first, I need to make a shovel. Because without it, it'll take me so long to get sand that we'll be destroyed. Uh -huh. But with a shovel, I can do everything I need to do in just a couple minutes. Yeah. So we'll just have to wait. That's all right. We'll wait. Huh. We can't go anywhere else for a while anyway. <laughs> but it'll be different soon enough. And I'm sure those bandits will be sorry they took us to their base. Hmm. I don't think there'll be anything left of their building after we escape. Oh, and by the way, the dynamite is ready. So all we have to do is make a ladder and go upstairs. It's not going to work without it. It's a good thing we were locked up together, huh? because it would have taken me a lot longer to escape. But at least I'm ready to fight them now. Oh. So all I have to do is remove the wall. And that's where dynamite comes in. The most important thing is to get away. Because the dynamite is so powerful, it can destroy us. Well, by the way, the passage is ready. So we must act as quickly as possible. Can you believe they locked us in some barrel? Whoa. It's just awful. 
I'm going to get back at you for this attitude. <laughs> JJ, cover for me. There's a lot of them, so I can't do it alone. Booyah! Look, are you sure we can beat them? I don't think so. So it's best if we figure out a way to get out of here. Hmm. And that involves getting over the wall. Listen, it'd be nice if our chicken would fly in right now. Mm -hmm. It's just big enough to carry the two of us. Except, I don't know where she is right now. Whoa! Mikey, she flew in to help us. Really? So now we have to get inside as fast as we can. Uh -huh. It's the only way we're going to be able to jump on the chicken from this height. I hope it can fly. Mm. I think it would be quite easy for such a large mutant to fly with little weight. Hmm? So you don't even have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. As long as our opponents don't climb up on the chicken. Hey! Hurry up! You don't want me to leave without you, do you? <laughs> don't worry, though. I wouldn't leave you here for anything. <laughs> After all, friends are supposed to save each other. <laughs> I've never flown a big chicken before, <laughs> and it's a lot of fun. By the way, does this chicken choose to help us of its own free will? Mm -hmm. That's so cool. I'm gonna thank her so much. <laughs> That's for sure. Thank you so much, chicken. If it wasn't for you, we couldn't have survived. Yeah. So now you can be free. And we have to figure out what to do next. Huh? Why don't we do some more experiments? I think we need to figure out how to be normal people again. Hmm. Because I'm tired of being like this.